Hey guys, I know it's been a while since my last upload, but I do have a good reason for this. You see, on May 12th of this year, the doctor diagnosed me with TOTK. And that stands for Tears of the Kingdom! Yeah, it took up all my time! But I'm free now, I beat it! 330 hours of my life gone! Woo and who? But yeah, with it being so fresh in my mind, I decided to make a video on some of the sticking points. You know, we all know it's a good game, and maybe it's even the goodest game of the year, but there are some little nitpicks I got, and I just threw them all on a Google Doc, and now I gotta sort through them all. Speaking of... What the hell, Nintendo? In Tears of the Kingdom 1, you could sort by damage done, okay? And for some reason, they removed that in the sequel. And, like, I don't know if it's something wrong with my brain, but I like using my weaker weapons first, and getting to the strong ones later. It was really easy to do that before, and now I either have to spend some time cycling through the menu or doing all the organizing manually. Why not even give us the option for a custom sword? I liked having wands of each element at the beginning of my lineup, but if one ever broke or dropped, I had to drop all my other weapons and pick up the wand and then pick up my other weapons. It was just super clunky and annoying. When the new iteration, Oblink's house was introduced, my head began to run wild, thinking of the possibility of saying so much hilarity. But then, you get hit with the 15 room limit, no option to recolor, and I mean all the other houses in Terrytown got other colors, why not the guy who helped build the damn town? But also, there are no additional buildings. I was thinking for sure there'd be like a quest where you could unlock some new ones, but nope. I would have loved a creature enclosure for frogs, some windows, or imagine even after doing that school quest where you get a plot of land, instead of just being in Hateno, you'd be able to put that plot of land at your house. Or even uh, right next to you know, next to your house, Terrytown. If you helped out Kilton with his quest, you could unlock a mouse or platform to put at your place. Or even something as small as being able to display some key collectibles found on your journey. Alright, future Javier here. I was thinking a Zona jukebox would also be pretty cool. Imagine you could like pick any like song from past Zelda games to just have as your house theme. That'd be, that'd be sick. Anyways, back to the video. When it comes to sages, I don't mind that their abilities aren't as broken as the champions were. Where I do take issue though is that they don't blend in with the gameplay as well as others do. Take wind for example. If I'm in the air, I get a prompt to activate it. Or even fire. If I'm in a vehicle, he just hops on in. Water and lightning though, you have to approach them first and activate it. Imagine if he just aiming up the, like, even the bow brought up a prompt for lightning. Or if blocking brought up water around like how Daruk's protection kind of did. Little things like that would have made them more useful to me, or I would have used them more often because they'd be, you know, just kind of activated on their own. Something that's irked me since Tears of the Kingdom 1 was you only get one special move after doing a perfect dodge when you got three other buttons right there. Take a note from Twilight Princess. In that game, you got moves over time, and one I really liked from there was the backslice, where you'd roll around the enemy and do a, like a freaking slash on him. In this game, it can be a move that deals double damage and sends the enemy flying. This could potentially save you some durability, like if the enemy would have taken two hits to kill, now you've done it in one. Oh, um, you know, I'm not, uh, I don't got any ideas other than that, but, um, uh, it's do more, I guess. Alright, I get it, right? Most runes from the first game are a bit obsolete now. Like, you can freeze your own water, you got your bomb flowers, uh, rewind, acts almost like stasis, sort of. So I get why they're not back. I do, however, have one exception to this with Magnesis, okay? Because you look at Ultra Hand and you look at the motion controls for that. It's so slow! And you go to Magnesis, you can just like whip your freaking controller around and it just flies it around. Why, why is. Ultra Hand's so slow, I, I don't get it, Nintendo. What are you doing, Nintendo? Where did all the ancient stuff go? No more ancient weapons, no more ancient armor, or even the best one, the horse armor. It made them somewhat more relevant and usable, but that's gone now, so horses have become pointless. Now, especially with the addition of Zonai stuff, you could just spawn that anywhere. Freaking, you don't gotta hope your horse is within five feet of you to hear you whistle. And Guardians, like, I get that, right? You know, you don't want to risk them turning evil again, but... I saw this mentioned somewhere, and I was also kind of hoping this. Uh, it'd be cool if there was, like, a Guardian boss fight somewhere in the depths or something, and that piano starts playing, you know, the... It's like... 
I don't know. Cool, they brought him back just for just for a little moment. Yes, they're the ones that we got. But anyways, memories. I like them. I just wish they were in the correct order you find them in, because it kind of spoils itself. One of the third ones I found was Sonya being freaking murdered, and I was like, mm, well, that just happened. And I know the geoglyphics shape goes with the memory, but like, I don't know. I'd rather sacrifice them not having an interesting shape than to be spoiled. Personally. And my final nitpick on Tears of the Kingdom is the Ancient Heroes aspect. The reward you get for completing all 152 shrines. When I first got this, I, I audibly said, Ugh, what is, what is this? But after looking at it and making the connection that, oh, this is, I got from the Calamity Mural. That's kind of cool, kind of dope. I might actually rock this. But then, then I eat an apple. And nothing. No job movement, just into the skin. You're telling me the award for completing all these shrines is a stiff blue suit. Nah, in the trash. Things like the mask of awakening not being animated. Although, you know, that's cool. I get it, you know, it's a bit more jokey. But I don't know, man. As a final award for the shrines, I was hoping they'd do it just a bit more just animation. I don't, I don't know. Alright, well, that's uh, most of my nitpicks off my chest. I guess let me know if you agreed or disagreed in the comments with any of this. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be playing across.